After hanging out with Lights Out, I went to Rivervale, New Jersey, so I could watch and participate in my first live Madden event, the Compete Forever Tournament. Historically, smaller live tournaments have been a proving ground for up and coming players, but as the Madden Championship Series continues to grow, these events are becoming a crucial part of the qualifying process for the EA Major Tournaments. I'm using this tournament as an opportunity to finally play some pro Madden players in their environment. In a highly competitive atmosphere with money on the line. It's a few minutes until game time, and I'm not gonna lie, I'm feeling pretty nervous. I feel like everything I've been doing on my journey up to this point has been leading up to this. Finally, I head inside Gamer's Paradise and hop on the sticks. With my tournament life on the line, I sat down to take on Orozo, one of the most talented players at the tournament. Antonio Brown was too much to pass up, and I had to pick the Steelers as my team for the tournament. Orozo went with Julio Jones and the Atlanta Falcons. I locked in and focused all of my energy on finally playing a real Madden player in a real tournament game. Needless to say, tensions were running high. Hey, were you holding Y? Yeah! No, that's your oh, problem! Oh, you hold Y in Madden 16, not Madden 17. <laughs> Thank God you're here, man. With some of the best Madden players in the entire country, including my mentor for the week, Lights Out, looking on, I managed to hold my own. I forced some turnovers on a rose's end and generally was in a tight ball game throughout. What are you talking about? No, what are you talking man. about? <gasps> Despite my best efforts, I'm realizing that playing well is not enough. When you're playing guys at this level, in this setting, you need to be perfect. Hats off to Orozo for a great game, and I'm looking forward to our rematch later on in my journey. It's a great game, man. Orozo, it was a great game. Hey, good stuff. Was a great game. Appreciate it, man. Too, Best of luck, team. Even though I lost, none of this would have been possible without the help and guidance of Lights Out. I'm about to check in with him to see how he feels about the rest of his tournament play. Great to see you, man. I uh, gave my all here. I uh, tried to do you proud. I hope I didn't let you, you down. You did well. You almost got that one. I know. It was close, man. It was close. But uh, how are you feeling? You're, you're advancing off into the uh, single elimination playoffs now. Right. I'm doing well. Just got to focus on my game. And whoever I play, if I play smart, play good, I think, I'm, I, think I got it. Yeah. Well, I can tell you one thing for sure. I would not have been in that game if it wasn't for the uh, the coaching up that you gave me. Thank you, man. So I appreciate it, man. Absolutely. And best of luck. I know that you're going to kill it out there, man. I hope so. We're going to be here cheering you on, dude. Thank you. Once I was eliminated, I still stayed late into the night so I could cheer on Lights Out. Lights Out managed to make it to the semifinal before losing in a hard-fought and close game. After all the dust settled, Delvante Hunt, a.k.a. Primetime, emerged as the Compete Forever Tournament Champion. I got a chance to jump on a Skype with Delvante so I could find out what he thinks this win means for his career and what his future looks like going forward. What's up, Primetime? How you doing, man? Hey, man, I'm doing all right, man. I'm doing all right. How about yourself? Good, man. So you've won two tournaments in the last couple of months now. Talk a little bit about what that feels like and how important this win in New Jersey was. What is that going to do for your career? You know, winning those tournaments, that's always been, you know, a dream of mine. That's the goal, to go out there and, you know, fly out there and win in tournaments. You know, you're spending your money, so it's always good to bring some money in and take it home. I think that uh, winning these tournaments is going to kind of um, really going to get my name out there for years to come. You know, this matter is only getting bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger and better. My dream to become a household name and make this really a career what I do.